Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Minister of Health, Faker bin Saeed Al Saleh, inaugurated the expansion project of the Emergency Department at Salmania Medical Complex, SMC. The expansion is part of the Ministry's plans to provide the highest safety standards, whether for emergency cases, suspected cases of infection with coronavirus or confirmed cases of the virus. Al Saleh said that the expansion aims to meet the increasing demand, particularly in light of the spread of the coronavirus globally, and to further raise the performance level at this vital department. She indicated that the spaces and buildings adjacent to the emergency department, which are located within the compound points, would be utilised to relieve pressure on the emergency department in providing health care to patients. The building, which consists of two main departments, will have a capacity of 100 beds. 50 beds will be allocated to treat coronavirus cases, 14 for dialysis and an IC unit with a capacity of six beds. The COVID-19 pandemic is overwhelming health systems across the world. The need to effectively address this surge in healthcare demand has forced ministries of health to look at a more combined health service delivery system, where the private health sector has a more engaged role in the diagnosis of possible infected cases. More in this report with Sarah Abrek. Bahrain's quick reaction to the COVID-19 pandemic has been lauded immensely by the international community and in order to achieve that, a collaboration and cooperation flourish between the public and private sector healthcare institutions. The cooperation resulted in more people getting tested, less pressure on public labs and faster processing for people who are leaving the country or are going back to on-site work. It's very important to highlight that the private sector has very much uh, contributed uh, to being prepared to deal with the COVID-19 situation. This pandemic, government of Bahrain did extremely well from the beginning, the February, last, late February, when we received the first case identified the Kingdom of Bahrain, government have done an uh, enormous job. And after that, uh, for three, four months, only the government institution was doing the testing and everything. But there was a gap like for some uh, companies, for airlines, for traveling, they needed the test for the safety of the passenger, for safety of the staff. So in that way, the private hospitals got the opportunity to help the government and to help the companies and the airlines with that. So nowadays we are doing mainly for the companies whose workers want to go back to work. So we are doing random tests and that is main thing is that we are not doing the test for the patients who have symptoms, who have any contact with anyone. It's purely random screening. The Bahrain Specialist Hospital is the only private hospital in Bahrain with a fully accredited equipped PCR laboratory in-house, making it possible for people to have their test results ready in just six hours. The hospital tests everyone except symptomatic patients. We are very fortunate at Bahrain Specialist Hospital that we have established a PCR lab a year before. So we are basically, we have been ready to do the PCR testing from day one. Of course, we needed to go through the process of having the lab approved, evaluated by public health and by NHRA. And I'm proud to say that our lab was approved. So we have been able to do the testing in our hospital uh, for the past uh, almost uh, more than three months right now. And I think that has helped a lot in uh, the, uh, trying to identify anybody who wants to be tested uh, to see whether they have or they don't have COVID-19. The thing that I needed to mention is that we are approved to test asymptomatic people because symptomatic people still need to go to the government facilities to be tested. You need to remember that PCR lab test result is extremely reliable. There is really uh, basically zero, almost zero percent chance of having an error in that because what we are testing is for the DNA or RNA sequence of bacteria or viruses. And we have had the experience to do that. Of course, COVID-19 is an RNA virus and the tests became available all over the world and we were able to test that. Of course, uh, as I mentioned, that uh, lots of people may want to have the test to reassure themselves. In addition, lots of countries are requiring a negative COVID-19 test before they travel to certain destinations. So yes, by doing the test in our hospital facility, we are decreasing the pressure on the government facilities. Don't be afraid. 
uh, it is finished within 10 seconds with each nostril. This is Sarul Break reporting for Bahrain International. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 3,158 with 376 recoveries, 317 registered new cases and one death. 116 cases were registered among expatriate workers and 201 of the new cases were contacts of active cases. The deceased was a 52-year-old male expatriate. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.